So what's going on guys, it's Jeremy, it's Beatboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you guys click on to any of these videos, also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions and what I'm saying in any of these videos, like always, it's appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub to my channel. So the rematch has finally been signed between Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin, they will meet again on September the 15th, um, the fight was signed at the last minute, Golovkin took something like a 42.5% share of um the deal or something like that he initially turned it down but then he changed his mind like an hour or so later he came back to it and said you know what i'll take this offer and i'll fight um canelo alvarez on september the 15th and you know what i mean it's just a fight that needs to happen it's a fight that just needs to happen so the middleweight division can get moving again because it's been kind of been put on hold over the past year or so obviously the fight was meant to happen on may the 5th but obviously Canelo Alvarez busted for PEDs, so the middleweight division's kind of been in limbo, you know what I mean? you got Jamel Charlo, who's the interim WBC champion, you had the IVF, who finally had enough of Gennady Golovkin stalling his mandatory, which was Sergei Deryachenko, so they've stripped him, and now Deryachenko will fight Danny Jacobs, apparently that fight has been ordered to be made for the vacant IBF title, so you know what I mean? The middleweight division has kind of been put on hold. As the fight itself, you've got the Gennady, the Golovkin um, fanboys coming out again saying that Golovkin's going to knock Canelo Alvarez out. I think this fight will always be competitive. I think this fight will always be a competitive fight at the end of the day. Like, I just think these two styles and stuff like that, I just think it'll always be a competitive fight. You've got Gennady Golovkin, obviously, he's the pressure fighter, better at cutting off the ring. He's the guy who's going to be the aggressor in there. You've got Canelo Alvarez who fights in spurts, but he's the more explosive fighter. He's the more talented fighter, in my opinion, in terms of natural skill and stuff like that. Canelo Alvarez, like we saw that in the first three or four rounds of the first fight. Like that fight just seems so long ago now. You know what I mean? People tend to forget that Canelo Alvarez, like, was schooling Gennady Golovkin for the first three or four rounds, in my opinion, before Gennady Golovkin managed to get into his groove a little bit. And Canelo Alvarez started to slow down as the mid rounds went on. So, you know what I mean? I think it's always going to be a competitive fight. I don't see anybody getting knocked out in this fight, but. You know what I mean? Anything can happen in boxing. Nobody expected Andre Ward to be able to hurt and stop Sergei Kovalev in their rematch, but it happened. So it's going to be interesting to see how Canelo Alvarez looks after a year out of the ring, you know what I mean? Because he's been inactive for the year. A lot of people are saying he's not going to be the same because he's not taking his juiced up, well, he's not eating his juiced up beef anymore and stuff like that, you know what I mean? People are coming out and saying stuff like that. But... In terms of, like I said, Gennady Golovkin knocking out Canelo Alvarez, I just don't see it. Because I think Gennady Golovkin, he definitely has power, obviously. He could knock me out with a half ass jab, um, Gennady Golovkin. But I think it's overrated by the fans, Gennady Golovkin's power. I think it is a tad bit overrated, his actual power. Because Canelo Alvarez was taking the shots against Gennady Golovkin perfectly fine the first time around. You've got Danny Jacobs in their fight who had in the past had a suspect chin he was dropped by a guy like Sergio Mora and stuff like that even though Gennady Golovkin dropped him in the fight I think that knockdown was more of a balanced thing whereas when Sergio Mora knocked Danny Jacobs down it was a more legitimate knockdown and obviously early on in his career he was knocked out by Dimitri Pirog as well Danny Jacobs even though in the Golovkin fight apart from that um, flash knockdown in the fourth round Golovkin couldn't really put a dent in Danny Jacobs so you know what I mean there is definite power with Gennady Golovkin in his last fight against Varnes Martirosian. Martirosian said Golovkin was the hardest hitter he'd ever fought. But, you know, Martirosian was an actual 154-pounder. He never fought somebody at 160 pounds before. Whereas Canelo Alvarez, you know what I mean, um, he's been in there with better opponents than somebody like a Varnes Martirosian. He's been in there with better opponents than Gennady Golovkin, Canelo Alvarez. So he's very experienced. And I think the fight will always be competitive. And I'm starting to edge towards Canelo Alvarez to win this rematch. I think Canelo Alvarez is the one who can adjust in this fight. All Canelo Alvarez really needs to do in this rematch is um, do a little bit more in the rounds, you know what I mean? Maybe in the middle rounds, not let Gennady Golovkin get on him too much. Maybe not take so many breaks. But Canelo Alvarez has always fought like that. He's a guy who's got a very big frame and he's very explosive. And when you're a fighter who's very explosive like a Canelo Alvarez, it takes a lot out of you when you're throwing them... Flow, throwing them um, explosive shot so fighters like that tend to take breaks in between rounds you know what i mean they only fight for a minute a minute and a half of the round and that's how they end up losing rounds and letting rounds slip and by so 
it's going to be interesting this rematch but i hope we have a definitive winner in this rematch because the middleweight division needs it we need to see who is going to win this rematch so we can just get on with other fights with guys like Danny Jacobs and Jamel Charlo fighting these guys and stuff like that. Billy Joe Saunders, who is the other champion. Apparently, he was um, very close to signing a fight with Gennady Golovkin. If Gennady Golovkin didn't get this Canelo Alvarez fight over the line, apparently they were going to fight on August 25th at the Forum in Los Angeles if the Canelo Alvarez-Golovkin fight wasn't signed. But it is signed now. We're going to see this rematch. And we haven't really got long. We've got a couple of months. It isn't like the last fight where it was like uh, five months or something like that. It's only like two and a half months this time. So uh, it will come around quick, in my opinion, and we'll get to see, hopefully, a definitive winner. So comment below in the comment section. It's JM, it's Speedboxing.